Hey there, it's Brittany and I recently did a starfish necklace video and in that one I showed you, um, I didn't really love how the starfish turned out and then I changed it to this one thinking I had beads that matched this, but the beads are a little different. So I'm gonna show you the beads I was thinking of. I got really close, but I'm gonna have to change the starfish a little bit to match these. I got these at some bead shop that I've only been to once that's, um, I don't remember if it's like in Peoria or uh, Northern Phoenix, I can't remember, but they're some kind of stone composite and um, they're very close, but I need to update the color a little bit. I'm just gonna put out a piece of paper. Um, I got, I, I, these are all the colors that I used. I used um, this, these, oh, I didn't use that color. I used these, Jade, Marine, Verdigris, and ochre and I found this one I think this will give me that little bit darker blue that I need to touch it up so I'm just gonna find um, a paintbrush and I'm gonna need some water and you want to make sure you shake your your vintage patina hear that ball rolling around and I'm just gonna put out like a little bit because we're gonna just do some some testing to get this close to the color that I need it, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as it'll work with um, these beads. So let's get a little bit going on. I'm just gonna lightly get that blue in there. And I'm not, I'm barely touching it. That's why it's not really showing up. But I think the problem is there's too much of that lightened verdigris in there and it's reading way more green than it needs to. There's no pink showing in the starfish but that's okay because I brought out some pink beads to use in the necklace not the starfish itself but if I decide I want pink I'll go grab some pink so already we're getting a lot of that blue in here and that's what I wanted because blue it seems to be besides the yellow the dominant color so already we're matching really well I'm gonna rinse out my brush the good thing about vintage patinas is really it's probably very close to being dry already I'm gonna pour out a little bit more yellow I don't know if I need pink I'm kind of thinking I need just a hint of pink in here, just because there's so much in the beads, but we'll see how I feel after I get some yellow on there. See, yellow's turning the blue a little bit green okay yeah I might have to get some pink when we have this uh, petalite it's very close to the pink in the bead uh, I didn't shake it enough Oh yeah, I love that, it looks so good. Just a little bit in there really brightens that up and you're not really gonna be able to see that until I bring it up and show you. Yeah, it's definitely taken away from some of the green that we're seeing because of the blue um, being under that yellow. Oh, that changed it so much and I just love, love, love it. I might hit it again with some of the darker turquoise, but it looks so much better than that yellow. But I, I do like that there's a still the hint of the yellow in the starfish. Okay. Isn't that cute? If it's not your thing, that's totally fine, but I really love it. There's a little goldy hair hanging on. Always. She always wants to be on my jewelry. <laughs> but... Look how great these match now. There's still quite a bit of yellow in these beads now that I'm seeing that next to it. 
Um, but I'm good with the way the starfish looks and the yellow isn't going to be the main focal of this necklace It's just going to be in these beads. I'm not putting it anywhere else. I love it. Oh my gosh I love that so much. All right, so now I just have to design what I want the necklace to look like so um, I could put away my Paints I have these and I've got out some um, sea sediment Jasper or um, Impression Jasper whatever people call it. This is from um, Anne Marie, and she had it um, listed as blue copper turquoise, but it is sea sediment or impressed in jasper, which is um, usually created by you know whatever they have left from the jasper, and they they compress it into um, a um, composite bead, which it looks so great with these beads. And that starfish and then I got a ton of different pink beads because I'm not sure which way I wanted to go so I've had these for years and years I came from um, fire mountain gems I think I have another bag of them here but they're a little bit different shade no they're the exact same thing they just have different names on them for some reason but um thought those were pretty cool I got out some cubes in pink some um faceted beads some they got out of, I just raided my pink glass drawer apparently. Not check glass, just pink glass. And then um, these are crackle beads. And I got out some, these are fire polish. These are check glass. These look really, that's a really good pink. I think that's a great match. Um, and let's see if there's anything. I love the crackle. I don't think I have that deck pink in a different size. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, so let's get started. All right, I'm going to put down my necklace bead mat just because I think it'll be easier for me to lay this one out. I love how this starfish <laughs> looks. So cute. And I might actually get something else to hang with the starfish. And um, I might have something else hanging here, but I, I haven't decided what yet. So I definitely want to get these in because those are these were the inspiration. I'm gonna save one for a bra matching bracelet, or maybe two, but I think I'm, I only have five. Yeah, I only have five. So I'm gonna get four in the necklace, and then I'll just save this one for a bracelet. Um, I definitely wanna use these. I kind of want this necklace to be almost exactly the same length as the the other uh, starfish necklace I made. So, so, but do you see how just you can have the same pendant, but your necklace is going to turn out totally differently? I love these pinks. What if I just did like these as the spacers? Uh, I think that would get a little busy, but I definitely want to use those. I kind of want to use these cubes what color metal I know I have copper here so I should probably use copper yeah these aren't the right pink I don't think I'm gonna use these Alright, so bear with me. I know these aren't the exact right pink. Ah, uh, they aren't the right pink. I'm gonna check to see if I have any like pink chip beads that are closer to this pink. Okay, so I found these pink cubes that I got in some kind of haul, for, probably from eBay. Um, and I think I'm gonna use these um, and possibly these again. These are like my new favorite spacers, which is awesome because I'm using them. I also have these. I know I have a strand of these somewhere. I can't find them. They're not in my metal beads, which they should be, which they probably are, but I'm, I'm not digging deep enough or something. I did get these bone beads out because I at first didn't see these. Um, and I was going to use the patina, the pink, the petal light to paint them um, because I couldn't find any chips that were the right pink. 
Uh, I might still do that, but I think I'm just going to rely on using these two pinks. Um, and I didn't think I had any other uh, coppers that I wanted to use. So let's just kind of get started. I'm going to grab my trusty dusty soft flex copper wire. Sorry, my desk is a hot mess. Um, and I'm going to kind of just plan out how I want to do this. Bust into a couple of these. Because what I'm thinking is I'll put three of these on to hold the starfish. But I wanted to see what these look like between the copper or the turquoise beads to see if I need to keep digging for them. So let's do. Gosh, I'm like covered in goldy hair today. What is that? She doesn't get up on the desk. <laughs> I kind of like it. Or I could have the pink, the pendant hanging from the pink fire polish. Let's see how that looks. cute but I feel like I need a bead in between the pink and the turquoise so I'm gonna go with the smaller like that. All right. I love that. I don't really like the two stacked on top of each other, but I love that um, cube leading up to uh, the focal. So I'm going to work that out a little bit better. Um, that's where I really wanted the chips to come in, but didn't really see anything that worked. I don't really feel like painting a bunch of beads. Yeah, I really love that. That's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna bead up the rest of the necklace and then I'll be back. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw these beads that came in that um, July kit. Um, so I put them uh, one right here with um, the pink again, but the smaller beads and I love it. So I'm just gonna do this exact same um, pattern 
uh, so the three more of these beads and then the larger one and then I'll do another one uh, with the starfish okay so I <laughs> I don't recommend starting a necklace where you don't know where the rest of your beads are so I, I hunted for maybe 10 minutes for the rest of these beads um, these wavy beads I couldn't find them anywhere I know I'll find them like the minute I'm finished with this necklace but for the last um, I actually had just almost just enough for the last uh, section I ended up putting the um, just the copper eightos and the cool thing is I decided to do a section of the pink beads because I just loved how these pink cubes look with the rest of this necklace I ended the necklace where it just felt right and it turned out it's the exact same length as the other necklace which was about 28 inches with the um, chain. I didn't use chain on this one. I just used beads. So here's the other necklace and I did this on purpose um, The design is very similar So I just did like three beads and then focals three beads and then focals because I wanted to show you once I'm finished How different and how similar these necklaces look this look to each other. So it's really the same design using different beads and a different treatment on the the pendant so you can make jewelry that um is completely different but not have to think of a new design every single time okay so i am going to crimp onto these two jump rings uh just in case i want to make it longer or change out my clasp in the future um then i wouldn't have to restring it or cut off my my clasp um got a little beetle on beach uh be crimp bead come around my jump ring actually got to make sure that's the correct side of the necklace first that's not yeah it is I like putting my uh, if I'm doing a lobster clasp on the right side of my necklace because I'm right-handed so I'll come down through my bead In my last video, I said, I don't know what I'm going to do when I run out of the Softlex copper wire and people are kind of panicked. Um, that was just me being dramatic. I haven't even looked f to see if uh, where to get it. I bought this on clearance and I haven't seen it in um, stores anywhere, but I'm sure you can buy it online. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in my crimping tool, making sure that my wires aren't crossed. Crimp, turn 90 degrees crimp again and keep going up my pliers come back down I purposefully used the 80 up against the top instead of the 11 0 because um, this wire is thick and doesn't go through an 11 0 twice I don't think 11 0s would allow a lot of wires to come down through twice but just doing several beads there I'm gonna cut off the end. I'm going to cut off my tail, making sure just to cut the tail. Move everything down, but still do it kind of loosey goosey because we don't want a straight line for this necklace. Now, I never cut my piece off of my spool. Um, I just took the rest off the spool I had because I didn't want to cut too much off and then not have enough to make another project before I actually run out of the, the copper color wire. So I'm gonna put on my second crimp, my jump ring, and then come back down through the crimp. And then I'm gonna come down through several of these beads to get some leverage so I can get a tight closure. hold my jump ring making sure not to knot my necklace <laughs> there we go that would have been a hot mess and then just pull as you can see the necklace is kind of loosey-goosey just not really in a straight line keep pulling keep pulling and I'll just keep manually moving everything down until I get gotten the the flow that I like here 
and then I'll crimp. So excited that I got another element from that box into this necklace using these um, starfish. So I'm just making sure, measure twice, cut once, right? Um, just make sure there aren't any huge gaps. You will probably end up with a small gap somewhere, uh, but that's okay. And then we'll just crimp. There we go. I'm gonna trim my wire. And then I can add on um, a an extender if I like, but it's a pretty long necklace. Isn't that fun? Ugh, it's so vibrant. I just love how bright this is. And this one um, is has just, it's the same design. <laughs> just has such a different feel. I mean, I, we're even using the same colors, basically. We're using pink and blue, but it just has such a different feel. This one feels weathered, it feels, um, like an old beach house and this one is tropical we're ready to hit the beach in Miami like it's very bright colors so let me know what you think hey even if you want let me know which one you liked better um, and thank you for watching me make the same necklace twice <laughs> but uh, I don't think it feel really is the same necklace twice it just is the same design so thanks for watching i'll spool up the rest of my um soft flex wire and uh, let me know what you think i hope you have a good day stay tuned for goldie she's super cute Bye bye Hi. Hello. This is a silly girl. Hi, silly girl. A big stretch. Yeah, you need a haircut. <laughs>